Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and first of all, I want to apologize for the audio issues lately. I've already bought a couple different microphones, I've not been having a lot of luck with them. I finally just reordered because I found it for less than $300 in the US, the mics I used to have on the old Canon camcorder back in the UK. They didn't make the trip with me, unfortunately. So I've had to repurchase those, but I found some for less than $300, amazingly, so I ordered it. It should be here tomorrow. Hopefully the audio is better from there. Now, as far as something that I see in the news right now coming up again, and I want to address this from a fitness perspective, and even for those who don't feel it's a, from a fitness perspective, you know, you saw the title when you clicked on the video. But this is important in the fitness world because when we talk about fitness, we're talking about general fitness, we're talking about the, the whole society, we're talking about getting everybody healthy and fit. In an ideal world, that should be our goal for those of us who are in the fitness world and, and promoting these sort of things. And we've got these issues with all of these McDonald's workers who are striking for $15 an hour to do a job that requires almost no skill, almost no training, no education, isn't that hard of work, and it kills people. It serves no real purpose other than giving people crappy food that isn't good for them that harms their fitness and health overall. Mostly just empty calorie junk. So your job is all of those things and it's actually more harmful than it is useful to society. Yet these people think that they need $15 an hour. You know, let's set aside the fact of the logistics of the fact that uh, no one can expect a business to operate that way because it would affect their, their costs so dramatically that it's just unreasonable to think that a no skill, easily replaced worker in a job like that is going to make that type of money in a competitive environment. And maybe if we had a socialist type system, but it's not going to work in a free market, it won't work. You're going to shut this business down. But that being said, from a fitness perspective, given the negative effects of fast food on people, maybe $15 an hour pays for everyone who works in every fast food restaurant would improve the fitness and health of the overall nation. Do you know why? Because they would have to close them down everywhere because they couldn't afford to keep them open because people wouldn't be able to pay for it a much different demographic of Americans would be able to afford to eat fast food regularly so it would be cut back. There would be people who eat it every day now who might only be able to afford it once a week because the cost of paying those workers is gonna go right into the cost of the food. So your food prices are gonna double. That's gonna make it less attractive. People are gonna eat less of it. Therefore, there'll be less of these open. So that would actually be a benefit to us in the fitness world. So while I'm not a big fan of trying to force crap like that on companies, the fact that these are companies that sell crap products that are bad for people in the amounts they consume anyways, it's harmful to us overall, maybe that would be a good control measure to shut them down a little bit. So from a fitness perspective, it's probably a good thing. From an economics perspective, it's a terrible thing for the country. Unless we factor in the cost of healthcare that it uh, costs all of us in taxes. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.